guys hey welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys another tutorial within Windows Windows 8 that is but for the rest of the windows like Vista and Windows 7 and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to go change up the default library location of the Explorer and what the Explorer is is this right here and when you go ahead and click it, it usually goes to the libraries location where the documents music pictures and videos are I'm always actually having the habit of going into my desktop where all my work is I actually have it hidden right there but when I do go into the Explorer bar it's always directly to the desktop because that's where all my work is or to the drive now if you have some type of OCD like I do or anybody else it would be a bit of a hassle to go ahead and click twice to go to the same location for instance click on there then go to the libraries or then to the desktop you know that's two clicks so I actually figured out a solution by googling it and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a great solution and I've listed up some common locations for where to go whether it be the desktop or your main folder where your username is the libraries the computer or the main Windows root folder. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this right here. This is actually all the text that you're gonna be needing. This would be the default one right there. So if you never need to go back to it, just go ahead and do so. But if you guys wanna go ahead and go to the drives, all you have to do is just highlight this. I'll go ahead and have it in the show more tab. Go ahead and copy that. And then under the Explorer bar, you wanna go ahead and right click on it. Right click on X Windows Explorer, then go to properties. Next, you want to go ahead and paste exactly what you have. Go ahead and press backspace to delete that. And then right click on it and paste it. And then go ahead and press apply. Press OK. And then open the window. And you're back in your C drives. Now, the other one would be where I'd be actually having it defaulted. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Go ahead and right click it. And then go to properties. And I will go ahead and place it right there. Um, always replace your username with the name that you have on your desktop. So mine is Joshua. I'll go ahead and apply that. And that fits me just fine right there, going directly to the desktop. You could make a shortcut, but it's more of a hassle. So if you guys want to go ahead and stick with this, go ahead and do so. And I do believe if you try to shortcut it, for example, let's just say Joshua, go ahead and pin it right there. It'll just go on to the right side click of the Explorer, which would be right here. And technically, that could be another accessible point, but then again, you know, what's the point? And you're clicking twice just to get there. Whereas, if you just click on the Explore folder, you're there. So, another last one would be the C user's username. And that location would usually be based right here under desktop, then your username, which all these folders right here, the core folders. And the last is the system's root folder. And if you can, just follow me. You're going to right click on it again, go to properties, paste it in there, and it'll go directly to the roots folder. By pressing there, you'd end up here. So if anybody has, like I said, OCD and they want to go and get directly to the location that they please, just go ahead and you know paste it there and you should be good. All right, so that's that tutorial. If you guys need any other tutorials recorded by me, go ahead and make some suggestions. Go ahead and comment. Also, go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys haven't checked out the new intro that I have, that will be my main intro. And I hope you guys like it. And yeah, all right, take care, guys. Bye.